Hey, Praise Kids. It's Pastor Steve here, and you might notice something a little bit unusual about the top of my head. Does it look like my hair's on fire? Well, it's kind of a fake fire, but it's to demonstrate something that happened to the disciples. What I did was I put a little fake fire behind my head, but the disciples had something that looked like real fire going on over their heads. It happened in the book of Acts because Jesus had told them after he left the earth and went back to heaven, they should wait for him to send the Holy Spirit. Now, if you look at the picture behind me, you see a picture of a dove. Oftentimes, when the Holy Spirit would appear on earth, the Holy Spirit would come in the form of a dove, would look like a dove. But in this case, in the book of Acts, the disciples were waiting, and Jesus said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And when the Holy Spirit came, he didn't come looking like a dove. He came looking like fire. And you can see in this picture, each person had a little bit of fire over their head like I just did. Now, the fire didn't burn them because it wasn't like a, a real flame fire. It was to show the presence of the Holy Spirit in each of their lives. What was happening on the outside of showing the fire was actually demonstrating that was hap what was happening on the inside of them. Because Jesus said, when I go back to the Father, when I go back to heaven, I will send the Holy Spirit and he will be in you. And you will be baptized with fire. So it wasn't just fire on their heads, it was fire in their hearts that was being poured into them by the presence of the Holy Spirit. And so one of the things that happened after that fire came on them and the Holy Spirit filled them is they started being able to speak with other languages, languages that they didn't even know. Maybe you know another language other than English. Maybe you know Spanish. Maybe you know French. I don't know. I know a little bit of Spanish. In Spanish, we would say un poquito, a little bit of Spanish. But I can't speak in that language. But the disciples, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they were able to speak in languages that they had never learned. And other people were listening to them and saying, you're speaking in my language, and I understand what you're saying. And what they were saying was that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and that he came to forgive sins. So they were preaching the gospel, and people were hearing it in their own languages. You know what else the Bible says? That we can learn because of the Holy Spirit in us to speak in the language of angels. Isn't that something? So you could be praying. The Bible says when we don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit speaks for us in groans and utterances that can't be understood. So you could be praying and you're not sure what to say next and you just open your mouth and sounds come out that you don't understand what they are. But the Holy Spirit is talking to God. And the angels understand that language, and God understands that language. So it's a pretty cool thing, and you can have it too. I mean, you might not have flame coming up on your head, but you can have the flame of the Holy Spirit in your heart. That's something you should think about praying for, because God says if we ask for the Holy Spirit, He will give us the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Do you know why? because he loves you. And you know what else? I love you too. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.